Hello and welcome to Finextra. I'm Thea George and I'm here with Evan Cook from EBA Clearing and Barry Kisslingbury from ACI Worldwide. We're at EBA Day 2017 in Dublin and we're talking about real-time payments. Evan, Barry, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. So if I can turn to you first, Irvin, can you tell me why you think ubiquity and reach are so important for real time in Europe? Yeah, we recently published a uh, white paper on the key success factors for instant payments and we believe uh, reach is one of the most uh, important ones. And therefore in our system RT1, uh, we explicitly also recognize the role of uh, service providers who can help uh, to create that reach. Therefore we allow them to have direct access to our specifications, our test environments, we involve them in the training of uh, how our system uh, works uh, and we hope that will help to build the reach. And actually uh, the efforts uh, are already paying off. What we can see uh, for our November launch of the system, we have uh, already uh, 29 banks lining up to connect uh, to the system. If you look at what that represents in total, uh, uh, of banks that are planning to go live either this year or next year, we can see that it mapping on uh, approximately 85% uh, uh, of our current SCT traffic. So we believe uh, that we're on the right way here. So Barry, from your perspective, what are you hearing from the community about the importance of ubiquity? Well, I think it's very good that uh, the conversation has moved in this direction. You know, for some time in the past, uh, vendors, service providers, always had to work with banks to get specs and to help with the thing. So it's much more on an individual basis. But situations we now have with, with EBA clearing where they invite us into the conversation obviously means that uh, you know, we can help more banks. We have a lot of knowledge about this immediate payments. You know, we have customers in the UK, in Singapore, in Australia, and we can bring that knowledge into the conversation. So not only does it help us, but it helps EBA clearing, and ultimately it helps the market to learn about what immediate payments, instant payments means, and, and hopefully that knowledge that we can all share will mean that we'll get to that ubiquity faster than we would have done otherwise. So coming back to the European situation then, what do you think it means for providers like EBA Clearing and for PSPs that there will be several instant payment systems in Europe? First of all, our uh, bank-driven initiative is responding to the ERPB call from the end of 2014 to have at least one pan-European uh, payment infrastructure. Banks are aware that there will be uh, more uh, systems available and they used to deal with that. I've heard banks uh, explaining that they are connected uh, in some cases even to nine or more uh, systems already today for their SEPA infrastructure. So this is not new to them. They will have their own choices to make what is the best uh, setup uh, for them. On the other hand, we're also looking at it and uh, efforts are ongoing in the industry to ensure to uh, make this as less complex for banks as possible by seeing how we can align on the same standards uh, and the same uh, interfaces. So Barry, what would you say to people who are perhaps thinking of waiting for the ECB's tips before they jump into instant payments in Europe? The point of acting now is that banks have a quite a lot of work to do to real-time enable themselves internally. And if you wait until later on in the process, you, you know, you've still got that 12-month project to do. And whether you decide that you want to connect to the EBA clearing system, or whether you want to connect to tips or a domestic one, is actually, you know, that last mile is actually the easier part. Banks should be planning their projects now to get live in the time frames that they want. Now we know some banks are doing tactical solutions to be live for November with EBA clearing, and other banks are looking at more strategic plans of doing something longer term and will include things like PSD2. But really the point is they need to act now. It's not a wait around situation. There will definitely be first mover advantage if you're one of the later banks. You know, businesses will have gone elsewhere. Evan, Barry, thank you both very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching.